Well, here we are with another oil filter, used oil filter, uh, opening. And thank you back to the channel. This one is from my Honda Civic. This one is from the used engine I'm rebuilding for my Subaru Forester. This is the filter that was on it. Nice they used a Mobile One on there. He said he always used Mobile One on there ever since he owned it. And, uh... Mobile One uh, Synthetic Oil, he said he always used. This is the filter that I just took off of my uh, Honda Civic uh, XG7317. And this one here is an M1108. Always use synthetic with this. Nemco Synthetic Oil, greatest stuff ever. And uh, I'm gonna open them up and see how they look. I'm pretty sure this one's looking great inside. It only has uh, about 1,600 kilometers on it from last year, but I do an oil change every year, so it only had about 1,600, but it's good to change the oil every year anyways, just in case of things, you know, the condensation and stuff, since that happens. It just happens. And this one... No clue how long it went, but going by the oil that came out of it, it was too long. Very, very dirty oil. But, hey, that's just the way it is when you buy used stuff, right? So, I'm going to get at it here. I'm going to use, uh, this one feels pretty heavy. It, I've drained it. I punched the holes in the top and drained them, but I got a bad feeling. These things are still... Uh, got lots of oil in it. So, I'll come back to you when I got her done, and uh, we'll take a look at it. Well, that didn't take very long at all. I put a new cutting wheel on my uh, cutter here, so I knew it probably wouldn't take too long. Went through it like butter, I must say. So, let's get that off of there that aside and let's take a look first at the Subaru oil filter so there we go nothing drastic in there for any particles or anything looks like eh, decent oil uh, here we go it's got one of those leafy springs not too bad still don't see any uh, bad signs of bad stuff of course it's got the silicone and yeah she's still got lots of spring left in her lots of spring and now we have the oil filter everything looks like it's pretty clean i don't see any sparklies in here at all so that would actually be a nice thing if there's no sparklies in it yeah. Put that here. Let me take a look here. Uh, I think I have my pliers here. There. I can take out this steel strip here. Yeah, those come out pretty easy. So. Well, I'm just going to cut her off and we'll take a better look at it. So there we are. I got her cut off. Uh, nothing. No sparklies, no bad sludge, nothing like that in there. That's kind of nice to know. Uh, it's got one of, uh, I forgot Mobile had a lowered filter. You know, my least favorite type of filtration uh, tube is the lowered, but I guess they work. Let's take a look here. Yeah, she's clean and I don't see any type of carbon or sludge or anything. Yeah, that's why using that synthetic oil, it helps, believe me, it does. Cuts down on carbon and sludge. And there is no metal flake in here. That could just mean that the engine, uh, you know, already is given up all its metal flakes and it's pretty well so so loose now it has nothing more to 
to give up. But I'm hoping not. It seems like it's a good engine. Uh, okay. Well, that's surprising, and that looks great. I am very happy about that one. Uh, let me get on to the Honda one, and we'll see how good this one works out. Cutting wheels doing a great job, actually. I think she's getting close. Yep. Well, I'm glad she cuts good. Wow, that cut really nice. Yeah, I could always put a new cutting wheel on for every oil filter I cut open. That would be great. Uh, not cost effective though. All right, let's lift her off. See, what we got. I know this isn't going to be too dirty inside. Didn't have a long run cycle. Uh, let's pull that off. Everything here seems fine. Oh. oh okay, yes. Sorry, that one did have a, the Subaru one there did have a uh, release valve. It's not very tight, I bet they're not supposed to be, they're only supposed to be like 12 or so foot pounds. So this feels a lot newer than that other one. Uh, everything seems clean in here. That new oil was doing a great job. Let me take that off. Thank you. Let's turn this cup around here. And let me give this a cut open and then we can see how much a 16,000 kilometer engine, uh, see how good it still looks. Hopefully good. So there we go, I got her cut. Just pulling out this, uh, Remember when they used to have those nice metal cages on them? Ah, and I like the round holes in them instead of lovers. Oh, yes. These were the days when we had some nice oil filters. This one was from 2018. Huh. All right. <coughs> okay, let's see what we got here. Well... There's not a whole lot of junk. There's, what are all these yellow specks in here? Huh. I don't know. Is there something yellow in my engine that is uh, yeah, a bunch of yellow specks? I don't remember anything, but uh, a bunch of blue specks too. Blue and yellow, don't know where it's coming from, have no clue, but I don't see any metal. So, blue and yellow, I, I don't understand where that's coming from. Bunch of specks of blue and yellow, but I honestly don't see any metal. There's, of course, no uh, carbon or anything built up in it, at least there shouldn't be knowing how new that engine is, but I'll have to check the next oil filter I take off for uh, whatever these blue and yellow specks are, or if one of somebody can comment and say what they might think they are. Who knows, maybe the blue specks are from my gloves that seem to have been ravaged by this uh, cage on here when I was cutting it. Maybe that's where the blue specks are coming from. But the yellow? Not sure where the yellow are. Well, we can see both filters did a fine job of filtering out whatever it was that was going through them. And I can see that the Mobile One here did a pretty, pretty good job with that uh, Subaru engine. Now I'm feeling even better about buying that engine to work on and 
fix her up for the Forester, which is uh, makes me a lot happier, I must say. Uh, this was my last one of the Fram of the old style. Uh, I can probably never get these again with the good old cage in them and stuff to hold them nice and tight. But I've switched on to other filters, so. Well, thanks for watching. Um, uh, bring you more videos in the future, and I appreciate every one of you who's watching these.